Now question number three, it says, consider a paper in shape of an equilateral triangle ABC with circumcenter O and perimeter nine units. So that means length of the side is simply three units. If we fold the paper in such a way that each of the vertices A, B and C gets identified with O, then find the area of the resulting shape in square units. So if we fold this, so suppose A comes here in the same way, we write it for B and we'll fold C also. So we need to find area of the resulting shape. So we need to find area of this shape. Now we know that length of the side is three units. We can find length of this altitude. So length of altitude AD will simply be A and this angle is 60. So that is A sine 60. So it will be 3 root 3 by 2. Now we can find AO. So we know that AO upon OD is 2 is to 1. So this AO will be 2 upon 3 times and this is 3 root 3 by 2. So I'll cancel this. So value of AO is simply root 3 and we can say this point is suppose G. This length it is equal to the other length. So that is AG is equal to OG. So that means I can write this AG as simply under root of 3 by 2. Now this half angle, it is 30 degrees and suppose length of the small triangle is L. So I can write L cos 30 equals root 3 by 2. So that is the value of L is simply 1. So now we know that it will be an equilateral triangle. So if I find area of this triangle, so area of this small blue triangle will be root 3 by 4 into 1 square and we have three such triangles. So if we have to find area of resulting figure, it will be area of this equilateral triangle which is given ABC and minus three times area of these three small triangles. So this is root three by four. And in this case, length of the side is three. So there'll be root three by four, three square, and then three into, now here it'll be simply root three by four. So it'll simply be nine minus three, six. So it is six root three by four or 3 root 3 by 2 square unit and that's your option number C.